And welcome back to TIA 2014, day two of our three-day conference on the network of the future in Dallas, Texas. With us in the Dell TIA Now studio is Ed Chan. He's Senior Vice President of Network Infrastructure Planning at Verizon. And Ed, welcome to the program. Thank you. Thanks for being here. I know you had a busy day. You started your day, I believe, with a presentation on 5G, is that correct? Yes, I did. Uh, I was just talking about that uh, next door here earlier, and um, I, uh, I told the audience, essentially, the fact that uh, it's uh, we spend a lot of time talking about technology because the group that we are in are technology-based by nature, and I think sometimes we approach this in the wrong direction. I think from a 5G perspective, what we need to really know is understand what our customers really need and what is it that they can't do in our current network today. Um, and then I think from that insight, we will really know what exactly we need to build and what technologies we need to choose from to actually deliver that for our customers. Now, there was um, a panel that you didn't participate on, but that you viewed on software-defined networking. Uh, you said in the early uh, stages of software-defined networking, there's still um, a lot of ambiguity, um, mixture of opinions, and a lot of liabilities that haven't really been talked through. Yeah, there's still a lot of uh, issues remaining there. Inside of the data center, for the most part, SDN have been adopted to some, uh, to a large extent. But uh, when you have to take that uh, SDN technology and then moving it into the wide area network covering the entire uh, spectrum of networks that we provide today, the reliability model that needed to happen to actually care for the same kind of expectations that our customer have on our networks today needed to be delivered in an SDN environment, I think there's still a bit more to be done there to uh, actually deliver that same promise. Now, uh, Ed, there was also a cybersecurity panel that you just uh, viewed as well just a couple of hours back uh, with our friend Bob Dix of Juniper. Um, and it's funny because you, uh, you, your conclusion from that was that the hacker community is willing to share information much more readily uh, than our own industry. And why is that? Yeah, I think uh, at the end of the day, we in the private sector are more worried about reputational harm. So a lot of times we wanted to um, actually either first have to anonymize some of the information we share with each other first, or we worry about things going public too far. So I think some, some of that is an inherent risk that uh, all of us wanted to avoid. And I, I like the panel, the way that they discussed the fact that I think we should be more willing to share some of the data for as long as we can protect uh, some of the, uh, the, the, the actual causes of where some of the issues are. So I, I do think that would actually move us forward much further. Ed, as you know, a lot of the discussions here at TIA 2014 have been on data security. Um, there's some bad online habits as far as data security. What are some of those? Yeah, I mean, I, we see this all the time with our consumers uh, on our mobile apps. What you can see is that in the past, when we have to scan certain types of applications before we actually put it in, the, in, the, uh, in a store for sale, uh, we kind of know that a particular application is safe. But these days, all of the free applications that get to show up on the online store, the customers would actually get this long screen of scrolling, what do you want uh, this app to have access to? And you realize most consumers don't really read any of those requests and just hit accept all the time. And it's really quite risky behavior. Ed, I know you go to a number of conferences around the world. Um, when you leave those conferences holistically, your kind of holistic uh, takeaway, what would you like to see more of at those conferences as far as uh, t content? Um, I do think more engagement with the actual end users would be the best thing. I mean, I think as an industry, sometimes we get too close into just the technology as aspects. I think it really would be nice if you see more in action of what the customers actually expected from us. That it seems like great. Verizon's approach to take the customer's needs first yes. and then work towards that. Absolutely. Ed, thanks so much for your time. No, thank you, Abe. Appreciate it. And that wraps up day two of our coverage of TIA's Network of the Future conference. The Dell TI Now studio, as always, will be streaming live throughout the conference that ends tomorrow. You can view our live stream and all of our programming at tianow.org. So long.